If you loved Around the World with Picture Books Part 1, I've got some exciting news. Today I've got a sneak peek into Around the World with Picture Books Part 2. to share with you this look into the brand new part two around the world with picture books from beautiful feet books just like part one which we've already been using it's a gorgeous resource all on its own part two focuses on Europe and South America so you can see all the countries that you'll be studying there and it's set up almost exactly the same way it's 40 pages longer so a ton more book recommendations which is exciting for me and they did a few more art connections and um, nature study connections as well a couple differences in the recommended resources would be this art book it's an art coloring book with the masterpieces and also they recommend watercolor pages uh, then these are all of the books. Again, the bulk of the study is Europe. Okay, so I want to show you a couple countries just to give you an idea. These are kind of the spine books, if you will, for France, as well as your maps book resource. They give you so much beautiful artwork do artist study. We're already up to lesson eight and then we've got a ton of library connection to study flight in French history. We're up to lesson 13 again for part one we just finished Morocco, that was five lessons. That took us two weeks to kind of put this in perspective how long this could take you. Again, more library connections. Marie Curie. Art connection, again, this is where they explain that coloring book. And then just look at all this <laughs> more library connection monet Degas. they give you three amazing books to look at as well as some beautiful art featured matisse again even three more and then finally a music connection we're still going <laughs> we haven't even done the nature connection yet and they list two recipes, uh, Julia Child's Bouffe Bourguignon and a recipe on mussels. So there were 14 lessons on France, not including the artist study, music study, etc. Let me give you a look at Great Britain. So they've got The Right Word, a book about the forming of the thesaurus and Finding Winnie, a wonderful book about A. a. Milne. An art connection to the pre-Raphaelites. There's not enough art for this one. You may have to do a little digging when you get to England, but trust me, Italy and Spain make up for it. <laughs> they give you lots of samples. Historical connection. Tales of Old England. So you've got King Arthur, Chaucer, Robin Hood, and the like. They've got two author connections. Charles Dickens and, of course, William Shakespeare. And then you've got several books recommended to, that were focused on Scotland and Ireland. Then you have your nature connection. And for British cuisine, they use the number one dish in England, tiki masala, which I think is a lovely, lovely touch. But I want to contrast this for you. So if you look how much of the book is Europe versus how much is South America. 
that would be my one complaint is that it is a bit ethnocentric, but for those of us who study children's literature, that is not too surprising. It is very Western, particularly in contrast to part one. However, that's not entirely their fault. Um, children's publishing in general, there are just so many more books, unfortunately, even in 2018, by white authors about um, Western topics. So let's contrast that with Ecuador. Now that you've seen France and Great Britain, Ecuador, here's the nature connection, which of course with Ecuador, you're gonna focus on the Galapagos. We've got shrimp ceviche for the recipe, but that's it. It's three lessons. Um, plus, again, this nature study. So I mean, so not that bad. And then after, in the very back, they've got the flags, the countries themselves, the nature items, and then finally when you get to the back, They've got some art pieces. And these will all go in your beautiful notebook. So thanks for taking this tour with me of Around the World with Picture Books Part Two. It is such a beautiful, amazing resource. It was sent to me free to review and so in the coming months I'm going to post a sample lesson just like I did for Morocco and then at the end of the school year ish I will give you my overall review of how we love this resource please check it out in the referral link below and please join us on our travels this year as we go around the world with picture books again please stay tuned to my channel for more book recommendations in the future thanks